Hello, welcome back or to Lady Love Said Reads. My name is Jessica and this is my June 24 library haul. I had to think about that for a minute. I do apologize for my haggard appearance. I am chronically ill and dealing with a lot of pain and fatigue this past week. So this is what I am capable of doing. And for my library haul, I really wanted to focus on finding my next manga series. So in May, I finished the manga series I had been reading, The Promised Neverland. And now I want to find the next series. And so I mainly checked out the first book in a bunch of different manga series. And when it comes to choosing my next series, I am a little bit limited to what my library has. Um, manga are expensive. There are a lot of volumes in series and so I really only read what my library has or what I can access for free online. So let's go through um, the first volume of I have four different series here that I am going to test out in June to see if I can find the next one that I read. Emma by Kaioru Mori. It says, an upstairs gentleman and a downstairs servant share a secret love. <laughs> that sounds really up my street. The saga begins. In Victorian England, a young girl named Emma is rescued from a life of destitution and raised to become a proper British maid. When she meets William, the eldest son of a wealthy family, their love seems destined. But in this world, even matters of the heart are ruled by class distinctions. It's interesting that what I'm assuming is a Japanese manga is covering Victorian England. I'm not saying that they can't do that, but it's an interesting choice. Soul Eater Volume 1 by Atushi Okubo. This was strictly a cover checkout because there's little witchy character and a pumpkin and I was like spooky vibes. So it says Maka is a weapon me weapon meister determined to turn her partner a living Sith named Soul Eater <laughs> into a powerful death Sith the ultimate weapon of death himself charged with the task of reaping tainted souls. Maka and her fellow Meisters strive to master their weapons as they face off against the bizarre and dangerous minions of the underworld. This sounds freaking amazing! But the Meisters own personal quirks and may prove a bigger obstacle than any sultry enchantress. Oh my gosh. You know, at the end of this video, I'm going to predict which one is going to be the winner or the one that I'll continue. I mean, there's a good chance I'll continue all of these, but I like to focus on just one manga series at a time. So we'll see which one I think will be the most immediate pick. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? <laughs> by Fujino Omori, character designed by Suzuhito Yasuda. <laughs> okay, so this one says, In Orario, the only place with an entrance to the massive subterranean dungeon, there's a certain tavern where the most desperate and vulnerable bring their troubles. There, the ex-adventurer Liu Lion uses her terrifying strength to wrest what justice she can from the shadows of the labyrinthine city. But when a girl goes missing and all evidence points towards the powerful Grand Casino, Liu may need more than brute force to help. That sounds like full of girl power, and I'm here for it. Black Butler by Yana Toboso. This was also a cover checkout because it's so gothic and I love it. It says, Just a stone's throw from London lies the manor house of the illustrious Phantom Hive Earldom and its master, 1CL Phantom Hive. That's a really cool name. Earl Phantom Hive is a giant in the world of commerce, Queen Victoria's faithful servant, and a slip of a 12 year old boy. Fortunately, his loyal butler, Sebastian, is ever at his side, ready to carry out the young master's wishes. And whether Sebastian is called to save a dinner party gone awry or probe the dark secrets of London's underbelly, there apparently is nothing Sebastian cannot do. In fact, one might even say Sebastian is too good to be true, or at least too good to be human. Uh, interesting, two of these are like British settings. I find that really interesting. 
Okay, tell me in the comments down below, which of these four do you think will end up being the winner? And then we'll see in my vlog that I do if you are correct. So put your, put your, uh, put your prediction down in the comments right now. And I think if I had to predict just based on reading the backs of those, it's probably going to be Soul Eater. But we'll just have to find out. <laughs> That's what I have checked out from the library this month. What are you looking forward to reading in June? Let me know down below. If you just want to leave me an emoji to let me know that you're here, leave me any kind of smiley face emoji. And until next time, make sure that you continue to read good books, drink good coffee, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye!